Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll solve problem number 191. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. This problem deals with the concept of time distance. Time distance problem is nothing new to us. We have done several of them in the past. Here's the list. Very first one we did was 166 and 167, 172, 176, 181, 182, 186, 187, 191 is what we're doing right now, 192, 93, 94, 98, and 99. There are 14 power problems there. If you have not watched the beginning ones, which are the, which are the easier ones, watch those first. The one that we are about to do right now is a little bit, little bit of a little bit on the hard side, a medium problem. Let's take a look at it. It says, yesterday, yesterday I went for a long walk. I went for a long walk. Had I gone, had I walked rather, had I gone, had I gone half a kilometer an hour faster, had I walked half a kilometer an hour faster, I could have finished my walk in 450 amount of time. I could have walked, finished my time in 450 the amount of time. In other words, if the walk took five hours, I could have done it in 450 amount of time, I could have done it in four hours. If the walk, if the walk lasted 15 hours, the same walk would have been finished in 12 hours. You get the idea. Had, had the entire walk taken 10 hours, I could have done it at, uh, at, uh, if had the entire walk taken 100 minutes, I could have done the walk in 80 minutes. Had I gone, had I gone half an hour, had I gone, half a kilometer an hour faster. Had I gone half a kilometer an hour faster. On the other end, had I gone half a kilometer an hour slower than I actually did, the walk would have taken walk would have taken me two and a half hours more. Had I gone half a kilometer an hour slower, it would have taken two and a half hours more. The question simply is how far did I walk? If you want to give it a shot yourself, if you want to go have a crack at it, pause the video. Try the problem yourself and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video and for you to have an un unobstructed view of the blackboard. Here we go. Alright, as we have seen in the previous questions, as we, as we mentioned, this is not the first one of the type. 166 is where the story began. If, as we have seen in the previous question, I need the room obviously, we need to raise this thing. In a time distance problem, time distance problem, the reason why they are called time distance is because this deals with the notion of time, distance and speed, obviously. And the concept that we deal with, I don't want to call it a formula because it's not really, it is a formula, but don't call it a formula, it's a simple concept. It's a concept that we live every day, which is the distance, the distance that we travel has to equal the speed times the time. For example, for example, if I tell you that I'm going three kilometer an hour, if I'm walking three kilometers an hour and I told you that I went for seven hours, I walked for seven hours, how far did I go? Three kilometers, three kilometers per hour is what I was walking, that's my speed, and I walked for seven hours. How far do you suppose I walked? It's very simple, isn't it? It's 21 kilometers. Hours drop out and you end up with the kilometers, three times seven. So there is your for there is your there is your concept. Distance equals speed times time. We're going to replace this uh, concept with the symbols. We're going to symbolize them so that it's easier for us to deal with. We're going to use D for distance, S for speed, and T for time. Keep in mind that when we say uh, when we say speed, it is expressed in kilometers per hour. When we say time, it is expressed in terms of hours, which is why the hours cancel out, and we le left with kilometers, which is our distance. Distance is expressed in kilometers. So let's begin our story. For example, so in, in this setup, in this setup, for example, if, if we say that s equals 3, what this implies is that I'm going 3 kilometers per hour. That's what s equals 3 means. If we say t equals 7, that means 7 hours. t equals 7 means 7 hours, and so on and so forth. And if we say d is 35, then it's 35 kilometers. So let's begin. Let's begin. The first situation we are told, we were told, is that had I walked half a kilometer an hour faster, so S is my speed, S is my speed, which is the unknown. We, I'm not writing everything down, but if we have to first, of course, define our variables, and the, and, and the definition of our variable would be, let D be the distance that we walked, let S be the speed at which we actually walked, 
and let t be the number of hours that we actually walked. Do you understand? So given that situation, we were told that had I gone half a, half a kilometer an hour faster, well, how do we express that? The situation uh, where I had gone half a kilometer an hour faster than what I actually did. But the speed that I actually went at was the S, right here. And had I gone half a kilometer an hour faster, well that's this, S plus half. What would have happened at this speed? We were told that in that scenario, I could have finished my journey in 450 amount of time. The actual amount of time that I took was T hours. That's the actual amount of time I took. But had I gone half a kilometer an hour faster at that speed, I could have finished my, I could have finished my journey in 450 amount of time. In 450 amount of time that I actually took. And this is the same distance, of course. I'm going the same distance. Distance does not change. Distance does not change. Let's, let's work on this thing before we worry about the second situation. Let's work on this equation, okay? We're going to work on it together. So, let's, let's get going here. The first thing we're going to get is S times this quantity, which is going to be S times T times 4 fifths. So it's going to be 4 fifths S times T. You see where this came from? And then we're going to get half times this quantity. Half times 4 fifths times t. You with me? I hope you're with me because this is too early in the story to get lost. And then half, the 2 is going to cancel out with this 4 giving us 2 fifth, 2 fifth t. Now what do you suppose this is? S times t. What do you suppose that quantity is? S times t. Well that's your distance right here. d, if you recall, is S times t. So we can, we can replace this quantity as the product of S and t is the distance. We're going to replace thing with distance. So it's going to be 4 fifth d plus 2 fifth t. You still with me? And of course this is 4 fifth and this is 5 fifth. A d here is just 5 fifth. The 5 fifth d minus 4 fifth d when you bring it here is going to give us a fifth of d. A fifth of a d, I'm not going to write a fifth of a d, d over 5 is equals to, oh there you go, 2 times 2 fifth t. Well oh, that's very simple. That implies that d equals 2t. d equals 2t. The question is, question is, what do you gather from that? What do you get out uh, from this thing? d equals 2t implies, d equals 2t implies, technically I should continue below but I don't have the room there, d equals 2t implies that this 2 that we see here, our speed, our speed must have been 2 kilometers per hour. That's our actual speed because this d is the actual distance we travel and t is the actual actual number of hours we have taken. So which all of this works, what we get out of it is that we must have gone at exactly two kilometers per hour in actuality, in reality. If we can if we can somehow figure out how many hours we walked, we can get the job done because the question was how far did I walk? I walked d kilometers. I just have to find the t, value of t. And the value of t is going to come from the second part of the story. Before I erase this thing, I'll give you a second in case you need in case you needed to have this thing in front of you. So let's say we are done. We need the room. We're going to erase all of this. Okay? That's, it's all done. One more time. It said the first scenario, the first, first half of the story told us that had I gone half a kilometer an hour faster, and that's in that case the speed, the speed that I had that I would have gone would have been the actual speed that I did go, plus half a kilometer more, an hour, s plus half. In that scenario, I would have I could have finished my I could have finished my journey in 450 amount of time. 450 amount of time. T is the actual amount of time we took. T represents the actual amount of time. And after we do all this work, it turns out that d equals two times t. Let's look at second, second scenario. Second scenario, of course, again we will deal with the same concept that the distance has to equal the speed times the time. Except in the second scenario, we are, we are talking about situations where what would have happened had I gone slower? Not the actual amount of speed that I, uh, walk, I walk, but had I gone half a kilometer an hour slower? Well, if I had gone half a kilometer an hour slower, I would have gone s minus half. s minus half. S minus half. Don't worry about the fact. Don't worry about the fact that we already know what S is. S has to equal. See this equation. This thing implies that S 
has to equal 2 because this is the s this guy right here is the s that's the speed distance equals this speed times the time so we know what s is f we actually went at 2 kilometers per hour that's what we gathered from the first half of the story don't worry about the fact that we know its value we're going to substitute it later on let's continue for the time being what would have happened in this scenario the problem tells us that in that case i would have taken two and a half hours longer i would have taken two and a half hours longer so the amount of time that i would have taken is the actual amount of time that that i did take plus two and a half hours more which i'm going to write that as the fraction five over two Okay, we know the value of s, s is equal to 2, let's substitute, we're going to substitute this from here, we're going to substitute this value in here, so it's just 2 minus a half, 2 minus a half, 2 minus a half, I don't know why I'm doing this such a baby way, times t plus 5 over 2, 2 minus a half is just 3 half, 3 halves times t plus 5 over 2, and now we're going to, now we're going to multiply them out, 3 times this quantity, 3, of three halves times t, I need the room, so we're going to erase this thing now. We are done. This, we are done with the substitution. We are, all of this thing is done. We have got. We have gotten out of it. What I want. What we wanted to get out, which is the substitution part, and this gives us three over two t. Three over two t plus three halves times five halves. Just leave it like that. Okay. Don't don't mess with it. Three halves times five halves is gives going to give us fifteen quarters. So here we have. 3 halves t plus 15 quarters. Let's see where we can go with this thing. And here, this thing is the distance, isn't it? This thing is the distance, which is same as s times t. Stay in the story, okay? It's very important. All of this, all of this thing is the distance, which is s times t, which is s times t. But we know what s is. S is two. S is two. Voila, two t minus one half of a one half t two t's which is same as four halves two t's is same as four halves four halves minus three halves is going to give us half a t half a t equals 15 quarters well if half a t equals 15 quarters that implies that t must imply must must equal rather 15 quarters times two t must equal 15 quarters times 2 because half of it equal, equals 15 over 4. If 15 over 4 is the half of it, the whole quantity must be 2 times as much. Let's simplify it. This 2 is going to cancel out with this 4, we're giving us a 2 and we end up with 15 over 2 which gives us 7.5. That's it, we are done. 7.5 what? 7 t equals 7.5. 7 7.5 7 what? Hippos, monkeys or bananas or peanuts? Seven and a half hours. The unit for t is hours. We are done. We know our hours, we know our speed, we can figure out the distance which we're going to do on the top. We know our speed, we were going two kilometers per hour. We just found out that we went for seven and a half hours, hours are going to cancel out, seven and a half times two, which means we must have gone, we must have gone for 15 kilometers. Well, the question was, how far did I walk? I walked 15 kilometers, approximately 10 miles. That's it, we are done. As far as the problem is concerned, we are done. What we're going to do at this point, what we are going to do, do at this point, is to quickly verify our story, make sure it makes sense. Do you want to do the verification? It's always a good idea. Let's verify it. So what we're claiming, the claim that we're making is that we walked 15 kilometers. We want to make sure that that claim is actually valid, is correct. Let's do it. I'm going to raise all of this thing. We're done. The first half of the story told us that had I gone half an hour, half a kilometer an hour faster, half a kilometer an hour faster, but half an half a kilometer an hour faster. I actually went two kilometers an hour. So instead of instead of two kilometers, we would have gone two and a half kilometers per hour. In which case, we were told I could have finished my journey in 450 amount of times. 450 amount of time. Watch what happens. 450 amount of time. 
which is which which is seven and a half. And when we do all of this work, what do you suppose we should get? We should get 15. And if we get the 15, then these numbers must be correct. Let's do it. Two and a half kilometers per hour because I was I actually did go two kilometers per hour, but had I gone half a kilometer an hour faster, I would have gone, which means I must have gone, I would have gone, not must have, I would have gone two and a half kilometers per hour, which is the same as two and a half would be what? Five over two kilometers per hour times four fifth times fifth, seven and a half, which is which is going to be seven and a half. How do I express seven and a half? Uh, seven to seven and a half. The plastic. Why am I drawing blank? Seven point five, uh, which is seventy-five over ten. Let's let's just do that. Seventy-five over ten. I know it should be better than that. Seventy-five over ten. I know I should I should I should be able to do better than that. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank here. Seven and a half is how many halves? Seven has fourteen halves, so it's going to be fifteen halves. Let's do fifteen halves. There you go. I don't know why I was going blank. So that's it. We can start our process. Oh, I see a five here. I see a fifteen here. It goes away. I see a four here. I see a two here. That's going to go away. I see a two here. I see that goes away. And what do you suppose? We're left with five times three. Voila! Five times three is fifteen kilometers. It works. We can verify it. We can verify it. We could have verified in the other scenario where you were going half a kilometer an hour slower. If you were going half a kilometer an hour slower, then instead of two kilometers per hour, you would have gone one and a half kilometers per hour, which is three half kilometers per hour. In which case, in which case we were told the amount of time it took, this is this is the this is the speed, the amount of time it took was would have been We were told that in this scenario, had I gone half a kilometer an hour slower, I would have taken two and a half hours more. But two, two and a half hours or two hours? Two and a half hours. Which makes our life very easy because two and a half plus seven and a half is ten. This is very simple. Three over two kilometers per hour times seven plus two and a, seven and a half plus two and a half is ten hours. Again, hours are going to drop out. And what do you suppose is going to happen? This 2 is going to cancel out with this 10 and 5 times 3 kilometers giving us giving us the actual distance that we are claiming that we walk being 15 kilometers. Bye now.